Welcome back to Learning How to Irish Chef Dance with me, Lizzie. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. Um, today, we are going to get started and we're going to learn a little bit more Irish dancing. Um, just as a quick update um, about the clubs, I hope you guys have been um, keeping up to date with everything that we've been doing. Um, just as a heads up, all the, um, all the clubs right now are doing some outdoor fitness classes. Um, as well as some of our clubs have our outdoor pools open. So definitely um, go onto our website and also check our social media pages um, for any type of schedules for outdoor fitness, as well as our White Marsh, Towson, and Eldersburg clubs all have their outdoor pool schedules um, up online. So definitely go onto our website and check those out. We'd love to see you outside and um, physically distancing um, and hoping that everyone's having a good time. Um, I myself am the manager over at Ford Avenue and we just had a great class this morning outside. We have another one tomorrow morning. We have boot camp with Amelia tomorrow morning. Um, so definitely check out those online schedules. They're all through Eventbrite, super, super easy. Um, so just another way to keep active and see some friends from a distance away and still be able to take class. So definitely keep up to date with everything that's happening. We're always trying to keep um, schedules coming out through social media as well as through our website. Um, so definitely be checking all of those. Um, but today we are gonna continue our education of Irish chef dancing. Um, I hope you guys have been having a good time the last couple of weeks and if you're just tuning in, we are gonna learn some basics and today we are going to start learning a little bit of hard shoe. So for the past couple of weeks, we have been learning a lot of soft shoe. So if you've ever seen Irish chef dancing, um, let's say River Dance or Lord of the Dance or any of those shows, there are two styles of Irish chef dancing. There is soft shoe, which doesn't make any sound and it's very closely related to ballet. Um, and then there is a, oh, hi Belle, hi there. Get your bum out of the camera there. Um, there is hard shoe, which is most related to tap dancing. Your toes and your heels make sound. So today we're gonna learn a little bit of that because we've been at it for a couple weeks now and I think this would be a great time to start. So. Um, me and Belle, hi there baby, hi, are going to do some stretching before we get started. So, Belle, I'm going to have to put you down, okay? Go over there, go over there. Okay, so I'm going to back myself up, and as always, we're going to get ourselves nice and stretched out before we get going. So if you just want to um, bring your legs out in front of you, nice and long, we're going to point our toes all the way down. Remember, um, with Irish Chef Dancing, very similar to ballet, we are always in a very, very pointed position, so if you can see my feet, they're always super, super pointed. So our legs are nice and long, toes are pointed, arms are up, and we're gonna come all the way over. Nice long stretch over our legs, stretch out the backs of our legs, hamstrings, and all of that. Um, we have a lot of kicks and jumps and things like that in Irish dancing, so we want our legs to be nice and stretched out. We're gonna flex our feet, wrap our hands around our feet, pull those toes towards you, getting a nice stretch there, pulling them all the way up towards you. And then point those toes again, stretch yourself all the way out. Nice long legs. So you want to think that that um, line is coming from your hips all the way down through your toes and your ankles, pointing all the way through, coming forward, stretching. Good. And then we'll just make some ankle circles all the way around. So you're going to take your ankles and you're going to make outside circles all the way around, coming all the way through. Good. And then you're going to make those circles inside, coming all the way around and through all the way on the inside. Good, hi there Spike. Good, and one more time outside. Good, and we're gonna come inside, all the way through, oh, hi there Spike, hi. Yes, I know you, you wanna play with your wine bottle again. Okay, good boy. Okay, now you're gonna point those toes all the way down. Okay, we're gonna go over here, go over there. Put those toes all the way down and come all the way forward. Pointing, pointing, pointing. Good. I'm gonna have you bring your feet together, pull them up towards you. I'm gonna scooch my way this way so you can everyone can see me. You want your back super nice and tall. You're gonna bring your knees away from you, nice and slowly and gradually. You're gonna take your arms up nice and high and stretch and reach forwards all the way down. Scooch those hands up and through. Bring yourself up. Nice tall backs all the way up as if you were like sitting up against a wall. Really nice and tall. And then you're going to reach your hands forwards, reaching all the way down and through. Good. 
and coming all the way up and we're gonna bring ourselves up to standing. So if you guys have been following us along, we do a lot of positions in first position and then we also stand in fifth position, nice and crossed. So first position as a little reminder, first position you're always gonna have your heels together and your toes apart. Put your heels together and come all the way over. Good, stretch your hands all the way down. Coming all the way up, and we're gonna reach up onto our toes. All the way. All the way up, toes, toes, toes. Coming all the way down and through. Reaching for the floor, keeping those legs nice and straight. Coming all the way down and all the way up. Up on your toes, up, 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 pulling up, 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 toes, toes, toes. I see, yeah, I see your tail. Yeah, it's in the camera. All the way down. Okay, good. So we're gonna get ourselves a little bit more well warmed up by walking on tiptoes, and we're gonna do that by standing in fifth position. So let's just have our feet in first, point that right toe out, and then that heel of our right toe is gonna go to the big toe of our left foot. So our feet are crossed over like that. So your heel touches the opposite big toe and your toes are pointing away from you. So nice and crossed there all the way. So from there, we're gonna go up on our toes as high as we can and walk all the way up and around. Whatever space you have, just getting those toes warmed up. Keep that right foot in front all the way up and through. Nice and high. Good, you wanna have those legs crossed over. So not side by side like this, but super crossed over so your legs are making an X shape. Good. Awesome, we'll come around and come back to standing. And then you're gonna put your opposite foot in front. So that opposite foot, your heel is touching your back big toe so your legs are nice and crossed. Come up onto your toes, keep that same foot in front that same foot that's leading. You're gonna be up on those toes. Bring yourself all the way up. Super, super high. Good, up on those toes, good, and then coming down. So we're gonna warm ourselves up with a little bit of a drill. So if everyone remembers their points, you have your feet nice and crossed, and you bring your right foot out to the front. Your right foot is extended out really nice and long, and you're gonna do hop touch. Your back foot is gonna be still on your tippy toes, so you're not gonna let it fall down on your heel. The whole time, there goes the dogs. Apparently we're getting a delivery. <laughs> Just a little bit of chaos here. Sorry about that. So, we are going to try that again once they all quiet down. They really do not like UPS and FedEx trucks. So we are going to point that right foot out in front of us and we are going to come all the way up on our back foot. Yes, like I see you. You did not like that UPS man, even though he was delivering your food. We're going to bring that right foot out all the way out in front of us and we're going to do hop touch, hop touch. And we're going to do it a few times. So we have hop touch, hop touch, hop touch. And every time you bring that foot down for a, a point in the front, you want to think that you're just touching the tip of the big toe on the floor and you're keeping really, really nice and high up on your toes on your back foot. Now let's try that on your opposite foot. So you're going to be up on your toes and just gradually touching the front toes to the floor. Good. Okay, so we're going to try that in a sequence. Eight points on your right foot, eight points on your left, and then we're going to go to four and four, two and two, and we're going to go back and forth. So we'll do it one time. I'll show you if you want to watch first, and then you can join in the second time that we do it. So, feet are nice and crossed. You're going to point that right foot out in front of you, and we're going to start with eight on one side, and then mirror it on the other side. So, up on those tippy toes, five, six, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch your legs, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, switch one, two, three, four, switch one, two, three, four, switch one, two, switch one, two, back and forth, and back and forth. Good. So you're just really switching those legs and getting used to pointing those feet and keeping them really nice and high on your tippy toes. So pretty simple. So let's try that again. 
we'll put our opposite foot in front, and this time maybe you can follow along. So point that foot out. Every time you point your foot out, if you want to look down at your foot, it should be turned out. So instead of seeing the top of your foot, you want to see the inside of your foot. So basically, it's kind of like where your ankle bone is, that's where you should see. So your leg is not straight to the front, it's turned out. So we're going to do the same sequence all over again. Eight points on our right, eight on our left, four, four, two, two, and then we'll switch those legs really quick back and forth. Up on our tippy toes, five, six, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, back and forth and back and forth. Good, that was awesome. Pretty simple, nothing too difficult. Just getting those feet nice and warmed up. We'll do one more warm up just like this because we're gonna go right into our light shake steps um, to go over one of those steps that we've been learning. But with our light shake, there's a lot of um, tucking all the way up to the back. So our legs come all the way up in the back. Um, it's just a style that a lot of softer dancing, you have your legs up in the front, but then you also bring them all the way up in the back, really snappy and sharp. So, in order to get our legs used to that, we did the exact same drill that we did with our points, but instead of pointing to the front, we point up and through to the back, all the way up. So, we're gonna do that same drill, we're gonna do eight hops on one leg, eight hops on the other, but instead of just hopping on that one leg, our opposite leg is gonna be tucked all the way up behind us and pointing up to the ceiling. So it's gonna look like this. I'll preview it just so you can watch it. And then when we come back and do it again, you guys can try to join in. And maybe our favorite teaching assistant, Chris, can come and do it with us too, because this one's a little bit more difficult. So I'll preview it. I'm gonna to turn to the side, just so you can see, the legs are gonna be up, pointed up towards the ceiling. So we have eight, eight, four, four, two, two, and then we'll go back and forth and back and forth. So arms are by our side, like always, nice straight, um, Bodies on the top, remember our bodies are not supposed to be moving, it's a really strict posture. So you're gonna take that right foot up all the way behind you and you're gonna start hopping on that base side. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch, one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, three, four, switch, one, two, one, two, back and forth and back and forth. Okay, so that's what it looks like those legs are supposed to be tucked all the way up to the ceiling, really, really nice and tight and sharp, close into your body. So I want you guys to see that from someone who doesn't do that all the time, so it looks just a little bit more on a maybe a beginner level. So we'll bring Chris, our favorite teaching assistant, out to preview some, what I like to call some tucks. So, teaching assistant Chris. Hello. Would you like to preview some tucks? I would love to. I know you would love to. So, you are gonna um, turn to the side. Remember, you're nice and tall, so pull your shoulders back. Shoulders are always back, posture's really nice and tight. I like to say like soldier posture. So, you're gonna bring um, your right leg back. Yep, and you wanna think that this foot is pointing up towards the ceiling. So let's try to point that up towards the ceiling. That's all we got. Yep, so just try to pull it up. <laughs> Apparently, Chris is like, not all the way up to the ceiling. So, not everyone is going to have that same range of flexibility. Some legs, Chris, show your leg, that's really all that they have in them <laughs> as of right now. Some legs would like to point all the way up to the ceiling like this. It really just depends on how long you've been doing this. So, let's try. Let's try it with your leg. Up, and I want you to hop on your leg eight times. Ready? Five, six, ready, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. Oh, Spike wants to know what you're doing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. So cool. That was fine. So as you progress, you really want to remind yourself, okay, I'm hopping on one leg, but is, does my foot look like this, like what just happened with Chris's foot? Or am I remembering to really push it up and point through your ankle? My leg is straight, but if everyone can see my, I'm flexing my foot, and our chance you always want to point your foot. So let's try that one more time, okay? Really think about pointing through your ankle. Now all uh -huh. the, the, the dogs are concerned. The whole, whole fam. <laughs> the whole fam is concerned about Chris's <laughs> pointing. Okay, Belle, you're fine. Ready? Try it 
Starting on five, six, ready, and tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was so much better. Okay, so did you really feel like you were pointing through your ankle? Yes. Good. Okay, you can go sit down. Take a rest. Take a rest over there. So, not as easy as it looks. A little bit more difficult when pointing, as I said, through your ankle is not always the easiest thing. So, we're going to move on. We are going to move on to a light jig step that we learned maybe a couple of weeks ago now. And we're going to review it. I love this step because it has really big kicks. And kicks are always something really fun to do. So, this step starts with just a jump together with both feet. So, what you're going to do is you're going to have your right foot to, um, in crossed. And you're going to start jump, cut. So, both feet are going to jump up in the air and land with the same foot in front. So, you have just jump in the air and you just land up on your toes. So you have jump and then you take that right foot and you cut it up to your hip. So let's try to put those two pieces together. You're gonna jump, land two feet on the ground and then hop that cut all the way up to your hip. So you have jump together, cut all the way up. Good, so try that both parts together. Tippy toes, five, six, ready, yet. Jump together, cut up and now bring it behind. Hop back to three, four. So you have four little baby steps in your light jig. So it's just basically doing front, back, front, back. A little seesaw back and forth with those baby steps. So put those two parts together, jump, cut, hop up behind, hop back, two, three, four. So let's try that. Ready? Up on our tippy toes, five, six, ready, and jump, cut, hop back, two, three, four. Now we're going to switch in the air to bring back that foot to the front. So we have switch. So let's try that. The opposite foot in front, and you want your right foot to come in front. So in order for it to come in front, you're gonna jump in the air and switch and land that foot. So you have switch. Good, okay, awesome. So we're gonna add that. We have jump, cut, hop back, two, three, four, and then we have switch. We're gonna switch so that that right foot stays in front. Ready from the beginning, five, six, ready, yet. Jump, cut, hop back, two, three, four. Now switch your feet in the air, jump. Now instead of a cut, we're gonna do a straight kick. We're gonna bring it all the way up from pointed feet. So we're still on our tippy toes and we have jump and we're gonna push it forwards, kick, hop back, two, three, four. So let's put those two parts together. We have jump, cut, hop up behind, hop back, two, three, four. Switch your feet, switch, big kick. Same thing, hop back, two, three, four. So let's try that, ready? Up on your toes, five, six, ready, up. Jump, cut, hop it behind, back, two, three, four. Switch your feet in the air, switch, big kick, kick, hop back, two, three, four. Good. Now, I'm gonna do that one more time up to speed, and then maybe Chris would love to show you how that looks. Um, again, on someone who has not been dancing for a very long time on a more beginner level. So let's put that together. Jump, cut, hop back to three, four. Jump, kick, hop back to three, four. Five, six, ready, up. Jump, cut, hop back to three, four. Switch your feet. Jump, big kick, hop back to three, four. And you want to stay really, really high on those toes. Chris, would you like to try it? I'd love to. I know you would. Okay, so you have jump, cut, hop back, two, three, four, switch, kick, hop back, two, three, four. Okay. So your right foot's gonna be in front, so we'll do it together once. So, that foot, yep, ready? So jump, cut, with your right foot, five, six, ready, and jump, cut, hop back, two, three, four, now switch your feet, switch in the air, big kick, hop back, two, three, four. Good, okay, so I'll get out of your way, and you can try it by yourself, ready? I will coach from the side. Ready, five, six, ready, and jump, big cut, hop back, two, three, four. Switch your feet, switch, big kick, hop back, two, three, four. Yes, now, as you see Chris's feet right now are on their toes, but they're very, very straight. So, we don't wanna have feet that look like they're just straight like this. You want to turn your feet out. So meaning your toes are pointing away from your body, towards the sides of the room. That is more so where we want to see your feet, and the posture is a little bit harder to keep, <laughs> as you can tell, 
this is not supernatural for everyone standing. No. So shut up one more time. We notice the turnout, especially when you're doing a hop one, two, three, four. You want your legs to be crossed, but you also want them to be turned out. So let's try that again. Ready? Okay. Right foot in front. Five, six, ready, and jump, cut, cut, hop back, two, three, four, switch your feet. Switch, big kick, hop back, two, three, four. Good. Now, posture. You can come back down on your toes. Kicks are super important. In Irish dancing, our kicks are always supposed to be straight. So I like to say, you know, this isn't karate. We don't kick from the knee. Karate has very powerful kicks, and they're great. But in Irish step dancing, our kicks are super, super straight, like everything else we do. So as we bring our legs straight up, so let's say we're up on our toes already, it's bouncing on those toes, that leg is just coming straight up and down. No bend of the knee, no push out or anything like that. You really do have to have that control, and it really comes from the top part of your leg, your quad, and your core, keeping yourself balanced, because you're still on that back toe. You're still up on that toe, and the leg just comes up, and then it comes back down. So you want to make sure that you're really nice and high in those tippy toes, and that front leg stays really nice and straight. Right. So, Chris is still working on his straight legs. Uh -huh. Everyone has different ranges of flexibility. So. Now, we're going to start learning. That was just a little bit of an intro of our light jig step, just so that we remember it. But now, we're going to start learning some hard shoe. So if any of you guys have ever seen hard shoe dancing, again, very similar to tap dancing, you would have shoes on that had um, tips of the toes that made sound and then heels that made sound. Obviously, we don't have access to shoes. None of you guys have access to shoes, so I'm not going to put my shoes on. But you still can make sounds just with your foot. So. If you can hear that, that is what we call a batter. It's a sound that you're making one, two, with the tip of your foot. If you had a shoe on, it would be even louder because it'd be a fiberglass um, type of a tip to your shoe. So today, we're gonna learn how to do a shuffle, like a batter beat. Very, very simple. So I want everyone, and Chris has never really done this before either, so it's like he's learning with us for the first time. So I want everyone, to hold out their right foot. Your right foot's just gonna be out in front of you. You wanna make sure though that you're still in a good stance. Your back foot is still nice and turned out and your foot that's in the front is still turned out. So all that you're gonna do is you're gonna um, push your, the foot that's in front and you're gonna do one, two. So you're gonna push it out, push, so you make a sound and then put it back on the floor, but just with the toe, so just with the ball of your foot. So push, step. Go ahead, let me hear it. Yes, so push and then step. And make sure your heel stays off of the floor because normally you'd have heels on that make sound. We don't want to hear that sound yet. We just want to hear one, two, one, two. So our foot will do one, two, just with a tip. So push, step, push, step, push, step. Try that together. Ready, five, six, ready, again. Push, step. Push, step, push, step. Good. So, in order to make a full beat, you'd have one, two, and then normally we would bring it behind, hop back. And that hop back is going to make sound because our, our both of our feet have tips on it. So you'd have one, two, hop back. And the hop, you have to make sure is on the tip of your toes so you hear that beat. So I'm going to be nice and loud. You have one, two, three, four. So you have four beats that you're making. So one, two, hop on your back leg, three, four. Want to try that? Okay. So one, two, push step, push step, hop in this one, hop back. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're making those beats with your feet. So we'll try one more time. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna go up on our tippy toes so that we're nice and high. Five, six, ready, and push, step. Three, four. Good, now let's try it on our opposite foot. Push, step. Yep, make sure it's nice and loud. Push, step. Now hop on that back foot. Three, four. So we're being nice and loud so you can hear all of those beats. Normally you wouldn't have to push 
that hard into the floor because your shoes will give you a little bit of help because of those tips that are naturally out of the shoes. But today, we just have to put some emphasis on it. Yes, emphasis on it. Very good. Nice, nice word there. Thank you. So, we are going to try that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's going to look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's try that together and we'll put it together and see how it sounds. Up on our tippy toes. Five, six. Ready, yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. So, do you think we can add a bang to it? Yes. Maybe. Okay. So, we're going to add a bang. Bangs are very simple. They sound exactly the way that they are. You're just banging your foot. But anyone can do this. You could even pick that up. Let me see it. Yes. See? Very, very simple. Nailed it. <laughs> yes. Nailed it. First try. Nailed very it. good. Very good. So, in order to just add a bang, it just kind of adds a little bit of like a, hey, I'm starting my step. So you have bang, one, two, three, four. And sped up, it's going to sound like this. Bang, one, two, three, pop back. But we're doing it nice and slow. Right. So we have bang, one, two, three, four. Good. Now let's try that again with the opposite foot that's in front. Bang, one, two, three, four. Good. And I'll speed it up so you can hear it. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Good. Okay. So all we're just adding is those bang, one, two, three, hop back. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. You got it? Yes. Together. Yes, together. Okay. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. Yep. Let's try it. Up on our tippy toes, we're just adding those bangs. Five, six, ready, yet. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. Good. That's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. Try, let me see it. Ready? Five, six, ready, yet. Bang, one, two, hop back. Bang, one, two, hop back. Good. Not too bad. Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's try it together. Let's try it a little bit quicker. Because as you quicken up those beats, bang. It's a little bit, the sound is a little bit more. Bang. Step. One, two, three, hop back. Bang. One, two, three, hop back. So every time you bang, you're going to have to step back on that foot to get that brush. So try that. Bang. Now step on that back foot. Nope. Bang. Step. Up. Two, three, hop back. You've got to push onto it. Yes, that was almost it. So as you bang, put that bang foot there, bang it out. Now step on that back foot, two, three. You have to kind of lean back on that back foot in order to be up on your toes enough to get that brush. Okay. So try that again. Bang, rock back on that back foot, two, three, hop behind, hop back. Now bang, rock back, two, three, hop back. Good, try that again. You're, now you're getting all those beats and they're getting a little bit quicker. Bang, step, two, three, hop back. Bang, step, two, three, hop back. Try it, ready, five, six. Ready, and bang, step, one, two, hop back. Bang, step, one, two, hop back. Good, that sounds so much better. So as you speed that up, bang, one, two, three, hop back. Bang, one, two, three, hop back. And you can speed it up more and more and more. Once you know those simple beats, and your feet get used to doing bang, step, two, three, hop back, bang, step, two, three, hop back, you can continue to make it quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. And the faster it sounds with those beats that you're making, the more impressive it sounds. So again, if any of you guys have seen a river dance, a Lord of the Dance, or anything like that, what makes it sound so impressive is how quickly their feet are moving through those beats. Right. They could be doing something as simple as a batter 
or fall out if you didn't tap or anything like that, but it's the speed and preciseness. This bang, step, one, two, hop, back, bang, step, one, two, hop, back. Very simple, but if you speed it up, bang, one, two, three, hop, back, bang, one, two, three, hop, back, bang, one, two, three, hop, back, bang, one, two, three, hop, back. It gets quicker and more, it sounds way more difficult. Bell wants to do it too. Yeah, Bell, <laughs> Bell wants to have her feet moving really, really quick too. So let's just do a couple of those in a row. Bang, one, two, three, hop, back, bang, one, two, three, hop, back. We'll just keep going through those with just a few to end it. Okay. Okay? Yes. So just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard. So one foot then the other foot, one foot then the other foot. We're just gonna alternate feet back and forth. Just bang, step two, three, hop back, bang, step two, three, hop back. Ready? All together. Up on our tippy toes. Five, six. Ready and bang, step two, three, hop back, 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 bang, step two, three, hop back. Good. Okay, awesome. So, you guys got your first lesson into a little bit of a shuffling, some hard shoe. We didn't even need shoes, which was great. It's Chris's first kind of parlay into some hard shoe dancing, which is great yep. too. So, I hope you guys had a great class learning. We went over a little bit of a light jig, um, some kicks and that, and we went right into our hard shoe. So, that rhythm would be danced to real music. It would be called a treble reel. Um, it's definitely a sequence of steps that Irish dancers know all throughout the world, um, with the United States and overseas as well. Just a very simple bang, one, two, three, hop back, bang, one, two, three, hop back. So I hope you guys had an awesome class. Enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And again, don't forget to check out our social media pages, Facebook and Instagram for updated class schedules and outdoor virtual fitness, as well as outdoor general fitness. Um, if you guys haven't heard, we are doing outdoor general fitness, meaning our um, personal training directors have set up stations for you guys, weights, kettlebells, rowers, airdyne bikes, um, ski ergs, a bunch of different equipment, um, cable machines that we can wheel outside so that you guys are able to utilize some of those circuits that you would normally do inside the gym, but we're bringing them outside for you. So those are time slots that you can find in Eventbrite. So definitely check that out. Um, go on our Facebook and our Instagram, it'll link you right to our website, and you can sign up for general fitness hours where you can do whatever you want, you go through that circuit, you'll have someone there to help you if you have any questions, or you can sign up for your favorite um, Les Mills group fitness class, boot camp, um, body attack, body pump, whatever you like. So check those out and I hope to see you guys soon. Maybe I'll see you Tuesday morning for bar class. Thanks guys. Have a great day.